there everybody you'll be watching this video because you're a recruitment uh, consultant or a recruitment leader or even a recruitment marketeer and you like watching Buckley Jones uh, videos because we give you lots of little tips to make your day go a bit quicker one of the things I come across a lot is recruiters who want to basically bend time or at least be able to tell the time which is a good start and if you do recruit on an international basis like a lot of our clients do there's a few tips that we want to show you today It'll take about two minutes to help you zip around the different time zones and figure out when to have your meetings and those kinds of things so my name is Lisa Jones you'll see me on LinkedIn let's zip across to Outlook now because I want to show you a quick tip on how to create a second time zone within your calendar to make booking meetings a bit easier so I'm using Outlook 2010 I'm gonna to go to file and I'm gonna to go to options and I'm gonna to go to calendar and there's all sorts of juicy things you can do within the calendar but the bit that I'm absolutely interested in is the time zones option now you'll see that I've already got Boston switched on but clearly all you need to do is click on a second time zone choose the time zone that you want you can clearly swap them around if you wish as well and give them labels and you go into your calendar you'll see two different time zones which makes life a lot easier so the website that I've come to that I think every recruiter should know about is timeanddate.com and the bit that I'm really interested in today is the meeting planner. So if I go to the meeting planner, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my meeting planner maybe, I don't know, from the 1st of April. It doesn't really matter but obviously you've just got to bear in mind that time zones can change and you'd be surprised that we're not the only country in the world that actually has a time zone change and some people even have summer time changing at a different time of the year than we do. So never make any assumptions. So what I'll probably do is select a UK town. We'll stick with Norwich for now, even though I'm from Leeds. And then we'll search for a different location. So for example, I'll go to, oh, let's pretend I've got some lovely clients out in that lovely hot Abu Dhabi and I'm not just going there for the Grand Prix at the end of the season. And maybe location three, and obviously I can scroll down here and choose all sorts of lovely stuff. So let's, for example, choose, let's go to Beijing. And of course, I can add more cities if I want. Now, we obviously recommend if you're going to add up to eight locations that you put them in time zone order just to make your life a bit easier. Now, just to prove a point, I'm actually going to press the show timetable button. And you can see here a very nice meeting planner that gives you different time zones. And certainly when I've worked with recruiters across the globe and we've been setting up webinars for them and meetings, some people have been in Adelaide, some people have been in London. It's been very confusing. So we've used this particular system to make our lives a bit easier. Now, the great thing about this is this particular screen now is a unique screen. If you could look at the URL at the top, all sorts of gobbledygook. But effectively, that gobbledygook means the following. Show me dates and times from April the 1st in Norwich, Abu Dhabi and Beijing. So I can actually press my favorite button here and save this particular screen and bookmark it if I'm on Chrome or maybe save it as a favorite if I'm an Internet Explorer. I can clearly send this URL to other people so they've got the same settings as me. We find this massively useful at Barclay Jones and we hope you do too.